This is probably the most easiest tutorial ever, but I never made it, so I'm going to do it now. Look, you need the export module because you're done editing your images and you now want to enjoy them or show them around other than here in Darktable. Right, you can select the target storage, file on disk, send this email, website gallery or other options. And then by default, it will store this file in the folder where you've retrieved these images from. You can give it a unique file name and also what you want Darktable to do when you run into a conflict. So you can create unique file names, override, override if changed or skip. Then you've got several options for the file format. So we've got JPEG, JPEG 2000, PDF, PNG, TIFF. It's recommendable that when you want to edit this image in GIMP or any other program uh, that you select TIFF because that way the most details will be stored and you'll work with the image as close as original as possible. And you can also change the quality of the image and as a general benchmark, 90% JPEG quality gives a very high quality image while gaining a significant reduction on the original 100% file size. Personally, I always leave it at 95% because that's default and I like default values in a program. And once you've made up your mind about this, it's important to make sure that the profile is set to sRGB so that it's web safe because if you export it and you don't have it set to sRGB, the colors might look different. You can apply a style if you've saved one. So if I've saved the style of bird, so I can select bird and it will be automatically applied. And then you can hit export and your image will be exported. Now, another way to do this is to go back to the dark room and you'll have all the options on the left hand menu over here, export with the same values and the same results. You can click export here and your image will be exported as well. 